Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we hit the paper of the year so far. Interestingly, this is when we reported the paper of the year last year, too. Same topic, the magnetic pole shift of our planet. We'll hit two other topics today, and we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. It was a calm day. Solar flaring is moderate only, but I'm watching a growing sunspot group very closely. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions have returned to normal. We're monitoring the central plasma filament. That southern coronal hole could be relevant early next week, and the sunspots are coming back after a brief break. It's the incoming limb presenting the biggest concern as the large and developed fields could be disrupted by the growing group at the limb. It's spreading today is of critical importance to flaring output there. Folks, I am not yet ready to definitively call the Puerto Rico blackout as a solar effect, but I'm going to admit they're running out of explanations as one by one gets crossed off the list. Even solar scientists in the official category are saying yes, this was probably the sun. And yes, it did indeed hit exactly when the solar storm did and in the exact way you would expect. I'll say this. That solar storm should not have even been a G4 event, and if the sun really did this, we are not going to make it through solar cycle 26. Hope you understand. Up next, HOMAF. Silly name, but no worse than suspicious observers. And he is unquestionably one of the smartest men on Earth right now, normally using peak consciousness science and psychology to complain about dating and culture with extreme precision. Those who watch him know there's never been someone who does it like he does. But last night, he and an FBI guy dropped the PSYOP video. Good God. I linked it below, and it should be the first thing you watch today. They gave away the entire game. From governments to satanic cult brainwashing, which many of you might guess I'm a little bit concerned about. Link below. Now the big story, the one I told you about yesterday. Folks, veteran observers here will recognize the first graphic signaling this is the next steps paper from a bombshell speech given at the AGU a year ago. Here we go. It is confirmed that there was a 90 degree shift in the magnetic field of Earth directly to the equator during the Lachamp event the worst one of the last 100,000 years, four cycles ago. Now, if this is what our field should look like, strong, with lots of lighter colors and polar confined wrapping around the planet, this is what it is in the pole shift. Equatorial polar position. No light colors, meaning field strength dropped to nearly nothing. And this worked the auroral oval where the northern and southern lights wrap around the polar position. And that went very haywire during this event a little over 40,000 years ago. Look at the before, during, and afters here of the polar position and the auroral oval. Pretty wild to contemplate that this is exactly what is starting to happen again now as Earth's poles are speeding up their movement and our magnetic field strength is tanking more and more. Not going to make it past solar cycle 26. We just discussed that. Now, here it is plotted on a full map, and you can see how the auroral ovals were actually touching and were encircling points on the equator. Other gems in the article include the extreme danger of cosmic rays and space radiation. This is what throws the climate into chaos, causes biological damage, and screws with the magnetic navigation of birds, marine creatures, and even mammals and insects. And the use of clothing and caves and other underground shelters is probably the only reason humans survived and Neanderthals didn't. Been saying that for years, now the world experts are saying it too. Folks, this is what our upcoming documentary is all about. What happened in the past, what's happening now, where we are in the process, when to expect the bad stuff, what that bad stuff is going to be, and how to survive it. The documentary is coming out later this year after the best kind of delay. There are more scientists wanting to speak up and break the silence, and those interviews take time. But that'll be worth it, and folks, the entire world-changing video is being driven by GoldCo. Goldobservers.com is literally carrying this as we go way beyond what we dreamed we were going to create. Every serious prepper on Earth knows the importance of gold and silver, now as things start to unfold and even after the disaster has occurred. I hope you do too. Goldobservers.com Folks, tomorrow there is a pole shift conference at Observer Ranch. We've got a lot to discuss, don't we? All day disaster cycle discussion with a chicken basics prepping class Sunday as well. Grand opening is next weekend. Kings of Catastrophe after that. Much, much more the rest of the year. Any way you could imagine staying at the campground, we'll make that work. Start your journey. Meet with other observers. I like eye contact during handshakes and lots of smiling. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow.
right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.